Welcome to Convergence to Pixels. Convergence TP is the market leader in interfacing TCP IP traffic into your VMS system. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate the Convergence TP ATM interface into the OnSSI Ocularis platform. Please visit www.c2p.com for a complete listing of the IP appliance interfaces that C2P provides. As part of this ATM demo, I'll be using the OnSSI Ocularis client as the viewer. On the screen here, we have four Convergence TP cameras being shown on the Ocularis client. The camera view in the top right is the actual view that I will be streaming ATM content to. The other three screens are just splash screens to give the effect of actually recording live ATM traffic. Let me make a withdrawal here and we'll see what happens. Okay, I've just withdrawn a hundred dollars from the account and you'll see the it was streamed up to the live screen. Now the dwell time has been set uh, for this demonstration to be about 10 seconds and there you see it went away. Um, we could change that to anything we like or you could have it set such that the next transaction will push out the previous. That's really a customer preference and that could be set by the user. I'm going to generate a few uh, transactions here so we have some content to search on in the next portion of the video. So I'm going to drive a few different transactions in here. That was a $3,000 withdrawal. Anything on this screen is searchable and we're going to get into that in the next portion of the video. So I'm just going to add some content and uh, give us something to search on. Okay, so you could search on any, any one of these variables here and uh, when it comes back it will come back with any associated video that you want to retrieve along with the transaction. Let me go to the next screen. Okay, now that we've created some ATM content as part of our demo, let me go in and show you some of the real power of the Hypermedia search engine. On the right hand side is the interface to the recording server. These are normally presented on two different monitors. For this demonstration I've stuck them all on one. And on the left hand side is the interface to the Hypermedia search engine. Uh, the login credentials here are the same login credentials that you would use if you were logging into your VMS system, Ocularis in this case, and you would be entitled to see any cameras you would normally see when logging into an Ocularis client. All right, so let me log in here and we'll get started. As you see, we've logged in, and on the left hand side, on our Hypermedia search engine side, we have a drop down. It shows you the various IP appliances that are possible to be searched on. In this case, we're going to go straight to the ATM transaction. That's what we've loaded. Uh, I'm not going to add any search filters for now, but I am going to change the time so it's well outside of the area we're in right now, so I don't have to worry about bumping into any time issues as part of this demonstration. And I'm just going to do a generic search. In that search, I didn't give it any filter parameters, so it just gave me the most recent stuff that happened. And here you can see, I'll, I'll click on the thumbnail, and you'll see when I do that, it, it renders the, the data that's in our database on the left hand side and it pulls the stored content of the event at the time it happened on the right hand side from the recording server so the information on the recording on the right hand side came from from the recording server the information on the left side was rendered in real time when i clicked on that so there are a variety of different uh, ways we could we could look at the data i could expand just this data and normally there'd be a lot more uh, parameters here because this is a simulator they're not all broken out but in a regular situation we would break out all of these parameters so any one of them could be searched on uh, if you choose to you could also look at all your data uh, expanded so sometimes it's easier to find a particular event just by expanding the, the, the actual traffic that we've received and looking at it that way. Um, one, the real power of the system comes in once you start doing some filtering and, and looking for specific events. You could look for, for instance, uh, events pertaining to a particular bank or a particular location, time, amount, uh, you name it, person, and uh, you could boil down uh, as deep as you want to go in your search criteria for whatever you want to be looking for. So you get a lot of, of you can really boil down the granularity of your search if, if you so desire. Uh, in this demonstration I'm just going to look for things that are greater than or less than. So we loaded in some, some dollar amounts and 
it was the amount withdrawal is the parameter and we're going to do a search so anything greater than forty dollars I'm going to do an expand all just because it's a quick way to see what's going on and you can see that was a two hundred dollar transaction this was a three thousand that was a two hundred so that makes it fairly quick and easy to review what's going on if you want to you could certainly click on a thumbnail and see what's going on that way and compare that against the recorded image that comes back from the recording server and that's about it for my demo um, if you're interested in seeing more please stop by www.c2p.com thank you